Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Eggplants are a healthy and versatile vegetable. They hail from Asia and they're relatives of potatoes, tomatoes, and peppers. There are two main categories of eggplant. The larger fruited types, which are most often found in the produce section of your grocery store, originated in India. The varieties that produce small, elongated fruit were developed in China. Eggplants are the most frost tender members of the tomato family, and they require a long, warm season to be productive. Like tomatoes and peppers, eggplants are best started from transplants. Start your seeds six to eight weeks before the last frost and set them out after the soil temperature has reached at least 60 degrees. Check out our video on seedling care for more details. Extended cold periods will affect your eggplants negatively and frost will kill them. If you really need to start your eggplants early, I suggest putting a plastic mulch over to warm the soil. Work an organic vegetable fertilizer into the soil before you plant your starts. Eggplants are heavy feeders and they like rich, fertile soil that's slightly acidic. Side dress the eggplants with more fertilizer twice during the season. Once when the fruit is about the size of a quarter and once again two to three weeks later. Use a fertilizer with lower nitrogen as excess nitrogen can cause lots of foliage and little to no fruit. I found this down-to-earth rose and flower mix has a great analysis. Provide even moisture for your eggplants. An organic mulch is helpful, but because of its soil cooling effects, only add it after the soil is nice and warm. The two main pests that may bother your eggplants are cutworms and flea beetles. For cutworms, you can add these little cutworm shields to the stems of the young plants. Flea beetles emerge early and can be kept at bay by a light covering of Agrabon. When the plants are older, they can tolerate flea beetle damage. Take the cover off when the plants flower so pollinators can get to the plants. Flea beetle damage looks like shot holes in the leaves. If you want to monitor early for flea beetles, you can hang out the sticky traps with the lures, specifically for flea beetles. If you're catching a lot of flea beetles and the damage is severe, you can apply an organic insecticide labeled for flea beetles to help control. However, be careful because they can harm beneficial insects. So spray it when they're not around, like early in the morning or late in the evening, after dusk. The major disease problem with eggplant is Versilium wilt. To avoid this, use good crop rotation practices and don't plant where tomato family members, strawberries or raspberries have been in the last four years. It's time to harvest my eggplant. Harvest time doesn't depend on size. To tell if an eggplant is ripe, gently press the fruit with your thumb. If the flesh doesn't give, it's immature. If the flesh gives and bounces back, it's perfect. If it doesn't bounce back, the fruit is overripe. The stems are thick, so use a sharp knife or snips or pruners. Don't just pull them off. At the end of the season, about two to four weeks before the first frost, pinch off any flowers that are left on the plant. This will make sure that the plant puts its energy into ripening the fruit that's left on the plant instead of making new fruit. Grow some organic eggplants and grow organic for life. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, share this video, and follow us at the sites below. Don't forget to like this video.